we're kind of programmed as a culture to believe that a religion can get us there, a guru can get us there. People go to the guru because they want a pill that's going to make them more spiritual and make them happy and successful. It doesn't work like that. When you finally get to the point that you give up trying to control anything, you'll find that everything you need falls right in front of your feet. This reality that we see in front of us, all of this is a data stream to a consciousness. But you have to interpret that data. You interpret it in terms of your own experience. And if it's outside your experience, it just leaves you with a feeling I can't describe. Then you're going to twist that data to suit your fear and your beliefs. If you don't have any fear and beliefs, you're more likely to get it straight up. If you are autistic, then the intellectual side of your mind, it doesn't work like everybody else's. Can you hear what mom's thinking? Sure, it's all in the database. Doing research in consciousness, I learned that it's all about love. God is love. There's just one truth, but there's thousands and thousands of ways you can get to that truth. In my model, consciousness is fundamental. That's how consciousness evolves toward becoming love. What's God? It's the larger consciousness system. Science has finally caught up to explain theology.